We'll start towards the back edge of our mats in a standing figure four. Bring the weight into the left foot, taking the blade edge of the right foot, hooking it just on top of the left knee, and then sinking down into the heel, into the glute of the left leg. Hands can come to prayer, keep lifting up through the chest. And the heavier you allow this right knee to become and the more it drops down towards the earth, the deeper you feel it, the more of a juicy stretch you'll get in the outer right hip here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to stalk pose, right knee to chest. And then exhale, swapping sides. Stepping onto the right foot, the blade edge of the left foot comes on top of the right knee. And again, sinking down deep. Allowing the left knee to become heavy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to stalk pose, left knee to chest. And then exhale, stepping, feet together, top edge of the mat. Hands come to heart space. One hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Close down the eyes and just listen to the body. What is it telling you? What's it saying? What tone is it speaking in? What does it need? And how can you soften away from the ego? Become fully present and honor your body. Inhale, blink open the eyes. Hands reach to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Maybe a cheeky back bend, lifting up through the heart space. And then as you exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold, Uttanasana, all the way to the earth. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to the earth or to the shins, lengthen through the spine and out through the crown of the head. As you exhale, plant the palms and step back through your vinyasa. Optional, lower the knees down or keeping the knees lifted and the elbows hugging towards the ribs. You want the elbows to bend to a 90 degree angle. Inhale, open up. Exhale, downward facing duck. Let's take a breath, arrive and reset. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth. Inhale, raise your right foot to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands, lower the left knee down, untuck the toe. Inhale, the arms will rise, Anjaniasana. And as you exhale, worry two in the arms, look over the front fingertips. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse in the arms. Left hand comes towards the back leg, the right hand sweeps up. And then exhale, hands frame the front foot. Stepping back through your vinyasa. So quietly pushing through the earth and stepping the right foot up and back rather than sliding it back noisily, doing it slow and controlled. Option if you'd like to for one legged chaturanga, the right foot can stay lifted as you lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Thighs and knees lift, heart opens. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Full breath in through the nose. Shake it out. Let it all go. Inhale, left toes lift, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Lower the back knee down, untuck the back toe. Inhale, arms rise, Anjani Asana. Exhale, warrior two in the arms, right hand back, left fingertips forward. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the arms, paint the sky. And then exhale, hands frame the front foot. Step back, vinyasa, 
quietly. So pushing through the palms, lifting up through the front foot and then stepping back, either high plank or one-legged plank through your vinyasa. Inhale, right toes lift, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, arms a lift. Exhale, warrior two in the arms. Inhale, flip, reverse. Exhale, hands from the front foot. Tuck the back toe under and lift up the back knee. Inhale, arms a lift, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, back heel turns flat, fingers spread wide. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior, option to lift up the front heel. And then exhale through your vinyasa, hands frame the front foot, quietly stepping back through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left toes lift. Exhale, step it forwards. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, two in the arms. Inhale, flip reverse. Exhale, hands from the front foot. Tuck the back toe under, straighten and lift the back knee. Inhale, arms rise, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, back heel turns flat. Inhale, flip reverse. Optional, lift the front heel up. Exhale, hands frame the front foot, stepping back through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, look forwards. Step or jump top edge of the mat into your Malasana squat. The feet come to the outside of the hands. Toes out, heels in. Elbows press to the inner knees. Palms come together and you lift up through the spine. Relax the shoulders all the way down towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Push the hands forward, round through the spine, and then slowly finding your way down onto your back, hugging the knees in towards the chest, and we'll roll side to side. Happy babies there for us. Grabbing the outside edges of the feet, allowing the knees to bend into the underarms. And then from here, rolling the lower spine all the way back down towards the ground so that the whole spine is flat onto the earth. Use the hands to pull the feet down towards the ground and use the feet to push the hands up towards the sky. The shoulders hug together across the top of the back and the heart lifts upwards. Maybe you'd like to sway side to side. Or maybe you like to straighten out through one leg and then swapping it over, straightening through the other leg. The knees hug back into the chest, wrap the arms around the shins, hug the chin up towards the knees into a tight little loving squeeze and hug. You can sway side to side again. We'll take a plow pose, bringing the head back down towards the earth. The palms of the hands come to the lower back, the knees come to the forehead and the hips lift to the sky. From here, you extend the legs up behind you, behind the crown of the head. Keep lifting up through the spine and opening up through the hips.
You might like to drop the knees around the ears. Deaf man's pose. And then releasing the hips, slowly back down one vertebra at a time. Hmm. Knees come back into the chest and sway side to side. Supine twist is there, extending the left leg out, the right leg hugs in. And then we'll drape the right leg across to the left edge, looking back at the right hand, the right shoulder. Coming back through centre, swapping it over, left knee hugs in, right leg extends and then drape the left leg across to the right, look back at the left hand and ground down through the left shoulder. Hugging both knees back into the chest, rolling out again through the lower spine. And then we'll find a way up into a seat. Still facing the top edge of our mat, we'll bend our, our right knee, taking the right heel to the outside of the left hip. So you'll still be sitting flat onto both sit bones, but the right heel will be towards the left edge of the mat. From here, take the, right, the left foot and step it towards the outside of the right knee. So you're in a little twisty kind of bindy pose. We'll take the open variation, the right hand comes behind you, the left hand reaches forward to the inside of the left knee. Inhale, lift up tall, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, twist deep, maybe even look over the right shoulder. So this is the open form of Half Lord of the Fishes. If you would like to a deeper stretch, a deeper twist, a deeper rinse out through the internal organs, you can swap the hands. So take the left hand behind you and the right hand comes forward to the outside of the left knee. Inhale. Exhale. The inhale we grow tall. And the exhale will twist even deeper. Look back over the left shoulder. Full breath in. Full breath out. Releasing down. We'll find a hip stretch. Shoelace pose or cow face pose. Keep the feet where they are and pretty much just stack the knees on top of one another as best you can. So it's quite an intense stretch and if you don't quite feel like you have the opening through the hips yet to do that, just stack through the shins. So it's almost like you're just sitting down with the ankles crossed over and the shins are stacked. From here you can lift up through the spine. Choose to stay here, maybe you'd even like to place the thumbs into the soles of the feet, give yourself a little, little sole of the foot massage. Or you can hinge forward at the hips coming down maybe onto the forearms or into a block. And keep the spine long, lengthen the belly button forwards. So you should be getting a really juicy stretch through that outer left hip here. And then walking back up to a seat. We'll keep the feet where they are, lean forwards, plant down through the palms, tuck the toes and keep the feet where they are. Don't move the feet, lift the hips up, lift the knees up. And we'll start to walk around towards the left foot. Don't move the feet, just spin them on where they are and walk all the way around until you're in a full circle facing towards the back edge or the front edge of your mat again. And then lower the hips back down. 
So you'll, you'll have done a full little circle, it just might not feel like it because it's a little bit confusing, you might feel a little bit disorientated. And we'll find that shoelace pose again on the other side. So the further towards the top edge of your mat that your feet are, the further away from your body, the deeper of a stretch you're going to get. So if it's really intense, hug the feet back closer towards the hips. Or if you want to deepen and intensify, take the feet away. The same thing, ground down evenly through both sit bones. Sit upright for a moment. Enjoy the sensations and then choose to fold forward if you would like to deepen. Or again, you can massage through the soles of the feet. Walking the hands back up, releasing the block if you have it. And from here, you're just going to take the right foot to the outside of that left knee. Maybe sit a little bit further forward so that the bind is a little bit tighter. And from here, we'll find the open stretch. Try and do as much as you can to keep the sole of the right foot grounded down onto the ground. So plug down through the big toe. Left hand behind you, right hand forwards and opening up through that twist. you would like to twist deeper, right hand comes behind you and the left hand comes forward. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist deeper. Full breath in. Full breath out. Then coming back through neutral, extending the legs out in front of you, pulling the fleshy part of the buttocks out from underneath you and then just shaking out through the legs. Mm. I want you to take a block here if you have it, place it underneath the knees so that the back of the knees are supported but there's a slight bend in the knees. From here we're just going to find a forward fold. So if you don't have the block that's okay, allow the knees to bend and maybe support it with whatever you can, whether it be a rolled up towel or a pillow, a cushion, or maybe even just your hands. And from here start to hinge forward. You can round through the spine here and just focus on lengthening the belly button towards the toes. Full breath in, full breath out. And then coming up to a seat, removing the block again. And then we'll find our way into one of our least favorite poses, which is why it's one of our favorites, because it's what we most need. So even though it's the most uncomfortable, it's a place of deep healing. And you roll up the mat so that it's got, you've got a little bit of extra padding beneath the knees. And then take the knees really wide, as wide as you possibly can. At first, I want you to take the feet together behind you. Take the hips back towards the heels and just find a seat. You can sit upright and push down through the fingertips, lengthen through the spine, roll the shoulders down the back. One more breath. Breathe into the tension. And then you'll move the hips away from the heels. The hips come in line with the knees. 
and then spread the feet out, toes face out to either edge and the heels come directly behind the knees. So you're making like a rectangle between one ankle, the knee, across the body towards the other knee and then down towards the other heel. And from here you can choose to stay upright or maybe folding down onto the elbows. Frog pose. It's so bad, but so good. <laughs> Try to breathe into it. Notice how that sensation is easing. How you're giving your body permission to become soft giving your body permission to open, giving your body permission to fully surrender. Notice what that does to the mind, to the heart space, to your emotions. We'll walk our way back up and we'll find that same pose as we did before we came down into frog. So the knees are still wide and sinking the hips back towards the heels. This time the hands can come to the knees or to the thighs. Enjoying the space that you just created. Let's invite our breath here. Take the elbows together, the forearms together, the palms together in front of the face. Inhale, the elbows and the arms expand wide into a deep cactus, lift up through the heart space. Exhale, curl through the spine, bring the forearms back together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, curl. Inhale, expand, maybe even straighten through the arms, lift the palms up to receive. Exhale, curl back in. Last one. Then release the hands down. Oh, wiggle the knees back in towards one another and we'll find a toe seat. So tucking the toes underneath you, all four, four toes, the first four toes will be tucked under and then the pinkies will be probably just hovering just off the earth. The knees can stay onto the rolled mat, hips sink down towards the heels. The shoulders melt down the spine, crown of the head lengthens, close down the eyes and you'll start to feel this pretty soon. This is a very intense pose, but enjoy it because intensity is just high vibrational energy, it's just a lot of energy, it's powerful. Inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Full breath in. 
And as you release, walk the hands forward. Oh, untuck the toes. And take them for a little tap, the tops of the feet, and just tap down onto the ground. Whew. And we'll find a child's pose. Knees wide, hips to heels. Belly button melts down between the thighs. The fingers spread wide at the top of the mat and the forehead can come to meet the mat. You can move side to side across the forehead for a little massage. And then walking the hands back in towards the body. We'll give ourselves a little wrist stretch, fingertips towards the inner thighs, wrist face towards the top edge of the mat. And then just gently bending into one elbow and then the other, pedaling out through the wrist, through the forearms. Flipping the palms up, the fingers still face the inner thighs, and then just holding here. Lifting the hands to the thighs, the spine lengthens. You can drop the chin to the chest and then gently drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Gently swing back through center and the left ear to the left shoulder. To the right. To the left. Interlace the fingers, the palms push forward and then all the way up, open through the heart. Exhale, let it go. Relax the arms by the sides. Start shaking out through the hands, through the arms, through the shoulders, through the torso. And we'll even let it go through the breath. So inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, allow the lips to flutter together, making, making a horse sound. Two more like that. Keep shaking through the arms. Inhale. Last one. Let it all go. Get really loud. Ready? Inhale. Shake the arms. Let it go. And come to seat. Come to rest. Enjoy the stillness. Stop moving the body, stop moving the mind.
And gently blinking open the eyelids. And together we say Namaste. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope that it is filled with countless little miracles. <laughs>